Hello and welcome to our video summary of the week's news brought to you by Estate Agent Today and Letting Agent Today. Let's start this week with estate agents and regulation. This week, the body that regulates the agency industry, the National Trading Standards Estate Agency team, issued new draft guidelines for how estate agents and buying agents should work with consumers. They are a hefty 47 pages long and set out how agents should interpret consumer legislation applying to the industry. You can study the full report yourself by going to the Breaking News Archive on Estate Agent Today and using the link on our Trading Standards story. After receiving comments from agents and others in the industry, the final version of the guidelines are likely to be issued in the autumn. Still with estate agents and regulation, the row continues over the Channel 4 show called From Russia with Cash. It named five London agents in connection with money laundering issues. This week, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors announced it was launching an investigation into the programme's claims. A separate probe is already underway by the National Association of Estate Agents. And an MP, Mark Durkin from Northern Ireland, has won the support of 20 MPs from a wide range of political parties for an early day motion in the Commons, urging the Land Registry to create a more transparent system for foreign companies buying in central London. Meanwhile, Easy Property Chief Rob Ellis made the controversial claim that online estate agents' charges are so low with a flat fee structure that similar problems could not arise as with high street agents. Now, it's unusual that a story about the letting sector in Wales would be important across the whole of the UK, but a development in the Principality this week may well be a taste of things to come across the rest of the country. The Welsh Government has announced that letting agents and landlords will both have to undergo training as part of a mandatory licensing system for the private rental sector being introduced this autumn. No details as to the training have been released so far, except that it will be conducted by local councils who will also police the licensing system when it comes into effect. With landlords and letting agents under the microscope, it's by no means impossible that similar systems may be introduced elsewhere in the future. Meanwhile, we've had another batch of stories suggesting that while the housing sales market is sluggish, it is not in reverse, as some have suggested. There was a report from the Office of National Statistics showing that house prices across the UK have risen by an average of 5.7% in the year to May. Then a report from the Council of Mortgage Lenders was revealed, showing a small increase in the number of home loans offered since the general election. One exception to the good news about the market seems to be in Scotland, where a report this week from LSL Property Services shows that has only been a small dip in transactions since the introduction of the Land and Buildings Transaction Tax. In the past eight weeks or so, only one home worth more than £1 million has sold north of the border, the agency claims. And still on the market, property portal Rightmove has launched a new rental price index based on the asking rents of homes just launched onto the lettings market. It's a clever move by the portal which wants to increase its consumer service across lettings and sales. Rightmove already gets a lot of attention each month for its sales price index and the lettings index is likely to attract plenty of coverage too. And finally, two of TV's scariest business people have teamed up to enter the London property market. Lord Alan Sugar, the man who hires an apprentice each year, has lined up with former Dragon's Den star and interior designer Kelly Hoppen. Together they are working on the design for two apartments in prime central London. London's Evening Standard newspaper reports the flats are likely to sell for up to £10 million each. We doubt that Lord Sugar will be offering one of them as a company apartment to his next apprentice. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching our video. We'll be back again next week. But if you want to keep up to date in the meantime, check in every day to read the news from Estate Agent Today and Letting Agent Today. See you next time.